U.S. stocks, they're trading higher this Wednesday afternoon here on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange as investors continue to take in better than expected economic reports as well as continued developments between Greece and its creditors. At the same time, on the economic front, we had ISM manufacturing beating expectations coming in at a rate of 53.5, while construction spending that rose 0.8% in May to a six and a year half high, six and a half year high. At the same time, we had the ADP private sector employment read that showed the creation of 237,000 jobs that beat expectations calling for 218,000. Now shifting focus over to the Forex markets, the US dollar continuing to gain ground and continuing to be even more higher. Now we have the Euro to US dollar pair right now 0.61% lower at a read of 110.74. Moving on, the British pound to U.S. dollar pair, 0.64% lower at a read of 156.13. And the U.S. dollar Japanese yen pair, that's in focus this afternoon as the pair has reached its first target at 132.20 while remaining well oriented while the 20 and 50 hour moving averages crossed upward. Long positions above 122.50 are favored with targets at 123.70 and 124 in extension. Moving on to precious metals, they are continuing to go under pressure. We first begin with gold. Again, in focus as gold prices are breaking below the 1168 support area. And the 50-hour moving average still maintains a downward pressure. Short positions below 1177.50 are favored with targets at 1162.50 and 1158 in extension. And lastly, silver ever so slightly higher, 0.12% at a read of $15.60 a troy ounce. And don't forget to follow Trading Central on Twitter for all of your forex market updates and for trading central web tv from the floor of the new york stock exchange i'm james swinney